Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. 47, our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. Yeah, he was literally about to shit himself. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck.
mistake and I know it. And I want to do better by you. This is the first time something like this has ever happened to me. That's the honest truth. Photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the Barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. You could also investigate the barber shop and see what is going on there. I'm just saying that I could have been playing the Premier League. Another one of Manya Shah's servants. Forty-seven, that man there, he resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. Barbara's tangled up in some shady business, 47. But even more interesting, he may have seen a picture of the Maelstrom in the hideout of the street gang known as the Crows. That picture would be very helpful to our cause. I told you not get into trouble with this snitching business, but you had to go and on some easy money shedding information with the gang. This is your mess, you fix it.
somewhere, sir. You need a taxi? And you hear that serpent finding a shark? You're open for business. We know what the maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience and shaving cream is what's on the menu now, 47. I'm sorry, sir. Not right now. Thank you. Damn it. I really needed a shave. It looks like him, but that's not the maelstrom. Hello. That is not the maelstrom. I'm no, afraid I'm that isn't the maelstrom. Right okay, you're busy. I'll come back another time. Hey, hey, yaar, come on. Do you have time to give me a shave or what? Please. Maybe later, sir. Forty-seven. That man by the counter. That's the maelstrom. Well, looks like our patience paid off. How about you invite him in for a close shave? I'm ready for my shave. Make it a close one. The tides are changing, my friend. Can you feel it in the air? The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one.
How are you? Greetings, sir. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Cheap, durable cloth in many special colors. Silk, cotton. How much of these? Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refined taste and a skilled handler. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but it's yours for 105 rupees. Then. It's a deal, yes? Wow, those eyes are really burning into me. It's uh, like you're just looking straight into my soul. Okay, final offer now. 90 rupees. 90 rupees per running meter. That's my own cost. I, I really can't go low. Still no. Your haggling skills are something else. I'll give you that much. The silence. It's, it's terribly unnerving, to be honest. It's like you're uh, just dead inside. Like there's a vast, empty space. It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles. Just one. Good. So great. Thank you. Come again. Bring the cloth for Miss Shah. Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. If you want to pass, you need to be frisked first. Is that a problem? See if you've brought me something interesting today. Okay, go on then. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. <laughs> 
I know. I feel perhaps that is not the wisest decision to make when... That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Of course, eventually you'll have extra hands to assist you with your income, provided the child lives so long. Well, that is the problem. Little Raji is not well. Five years, Mr. Five... five years, my queen? Yes. Five additional years of servitude to your queen, for you and your wife. In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she's old enough to work the spinning mills. That is my offer, Mr. Hussain. Mm. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Ah, the elusive tailor. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shaw will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution up to you. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home.
them. We're not allowed up there. construction site, right? Public ki dar hai. Where the hell is everybody? One scene to go and we're done. Looks like the fan has been set up again. Do you know why they haven't shot it yet? Karishma threw the last copy of the script into the elevator shaft. He doesn't want to do the scene with Rangan. He still wants to do the kiss. Oh, are the nerve of this guy? Julia, he's a creep. And Karishma isn't having it. I think she's crazy to pull something like that. But it seems to be working. The production of Mumbai Hero is coming to a close. But it seems there's a spot of trouble. Lead actress Charisma Hassan has refused to do a kissing scene with Rangan and has got rid of the script by tossing it down an elevator shaft. Shame. The scene features the use of a large industrial wind machine. Could be worth investigating. Let's hope nobody finds the script then. Rangan doesn't deserve to get his way.
That scared the living daylights out of me. Hello? Who did that? Anyone there? It's not over. Fine line between being a super fan and being a scumbag. This is supposed to be a construction site, right? Public kidare. Where the hell is everybody? I don't know, but I heard Mr. Dalton said somebody can take a swimming pool by the building.
Just one scene to go and we're done. Looks like the fan has been set up again. Do you know why they haven't shot it yet? Karishma threw the last copy of the script into the elevator shaft. She doesn't want to do the scene with Rangan. He still wants to do the kiss. Oh, are it? The nerve of this guy. Jutia, he's a creep. And Karishma isn't having it. I think she... The production of Mumbai Hero is coming to a close, but it seems there's a spot of trouble. Lead actress Karisma Hassan has refused to do a kissing scene with Rangan and has got rid of the script by tossing it down an elevator shaft. Shame. The scene features the use of a large industrial wind machine. Could be worth investigating. It's crazy to pull something like that, but it seems to be working. Let's hope nobody finds the script then. Rangan doesn't deserve to get his way. Dawood Rangan has leased an industrial strength fan, normally used for clearing smoke from construction tunnels. That's a beast of a machine, 47. The crew have put some sort of limiter on the fan output, but maybe you could make a few changes.
amazing how Rangan managed to put together another epic, huh? I can't wait to see the results. Found this. A script? You found it. Thank you so much. Ooh. Not a problem. Listen, could you give me a little more to run in, please? Run over and man it, will you? Right before the scene starts, I'll signal to you to turn it on. Just make sure the safety is on and you don't go above the indicated power. I'll round up everyone. You got it. Good work, 47. Darwood is hurrying down now to act out the final scene with Hassan. Let's make sure he doesn't run out of wind. Mr. Rangan is on his way. We just need to get this one scene in the can, and then that is a wrap. Krishma, here's that last line that you kept missing. I'm yours forever, and now me, hero. Hmm. Right, right. So, um, what's my motivation here? Like, why kiss him? He is a foul pirate. You love him. It is a pure, intimate love that has bloomed over the course of the weeks that you've spent in captivity. The evil witch queen had clouded your mind all of those years, but after he set you free, you realize that he is your true love, your hero. I don't know. It sounds kind of unrealistic to me. I mean, sure, he saved me and everything, and, and I understand why I would be grateful. But a kiss? Maybe just a firm handshake? Or a hug, even? Oh, you're full of love, Karishma. Mumbai has been rescued, set free. The pirate is not the evil person portrayed by the witch queen. Her attempts to kill him through the use of the assassin have failed. This is the beginning of your future together. I think it's a beautiful moment and it requires a kiss to steal the magic. Ugh. What was the last line again? I'm yours forever. Now kiss me. All right, people. Time to get the show on the road. I'm here. My lips are ready for the final, most important shot of the film. Charisma. You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Start the pan. Are you jaldi, yaar? Fast marks, come on. rests in hell now, along with her assassin. You're free. It's like the veil has been lifted from my eyes. She poisoned my mind against you. I, I thought you were the villain. Her magic was powerful, but it's gone now. It's just you and me now. I, if you will have me, I will protect you. Confirmed killing. Mission completed. Time to find an exit.
According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs are almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function. But we made a pact. You and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them. 